Um, we've been working with the World Economic Forum for over 10 years now, and uh, we've seen a lot of benefit from our collaboration. And in the UAE, as you see, we are very agile in actually deploying whatever we hear and whatever we learn. The UAE right now is at the forefront of many technologies. So what we've seen with the World Economic Forum is we can be a testbed for whatever comes out of their fourth industrial revolution research. And we launched the center there, the center for fourth industrial revolution, which um, brings us on the table with many countries like Japan, China, India, and the US. And um, we are also a part of the advisory board for the Center for, for Fourth Industrial Revolution. So we will be able to um, curate, let's say, the, the strategy for that and work with them to deploy it in the UAE and deploy it across the world. And this is something that in the UAE in particular, in Dubai, um, you've been focused on for the last several years, really, in terms of building that technology and making Dubai a place where people can come and start a business uh, with ease. And generally, you've been pretty successful at doing that. What do you see in terms of the challenges ahead there? So. What we believe in the UAE and what our leadership believes is that every technology is a tool. There are negative use cases and positive use cases. We need to be able to understand what the negative use cases are and also deploy it in a positive sense. If we do deploy it and then see a negative use case, we need to be agile enough to change things to ensure that the upside is bigger than the downside. So uh, one thing that, that we're doing right now, for example, everyone's talking about artificial intelligence from a hypothetical perspective. We care about deploying AI solutions in, for example, diagnostics, allowing AI companies and companies that are working in any post industrial revolution sector to deploy their tools in the UAE through something that our leadership launched, which is called the Reg Lab, which is a regulation laboratory that allows us to uh, launch policies or regulations on a three, six, or nine month uh, time period, which allows any company from anywhere on earth to come and use the UAE as a testbed, see how it works, and export it to the rest of the world. We get the first mover advantage, and the whole world benefits that it has been tested and tried somewhere. When you look at more broadly at the technology scene today globally, um, obviously the US-China trade spat is influencing investors, it's influencing sentiment as well, and there are a lot of worries about a company like Huawei in terms of the security aspect. What's your take there in terms of where we're moving with technology and how countries, governments and corporates need to be careful about who they really get in bed with? So over the last 50 years or so, technology has been developing no matter what we went through. There was the Cold War, there were issues in different geographies. Technology develops. The reason why it's developing is because it's fulfilling needs and it's solving challenges and it's taking us to a better future. I think, in my perspective, technology will continue developing. People will come together. They're going to develop solutions. They're going to deploy them. They're going to see how they work. And companies are going to come out. So in the long term, I believe that technology is always going to move forward. In terms of the World Government Summit, give us a bit of a preview about what we're going to see. So the World Government Summit is an interesting platform. It brings together governments from around the world, 140 governments. It brings together CEOs, uh, tech entrepreneurs, and others. Now, uh, one thing we're doing this year that's different is we're focusing on issues that many other conferences do not focus on. For example, uh, government communication, which is an important discussion or important issue to talk about. How does government communicate with citizens? The role of women, for example, across government, specifically government. So everyone's talking about women in general. We want to see how women play a role in government and how they shape the government. In the UAE, there was a decree announced by the president recently that said that 50% of our parliament, our national, federal national council, is going to be women, the highest globally, uh, over the next year or so. We want to make sure that women have an active role, that women have a voice, and that they shape the future with men uh, in, in uh, government as well. So we have many side forums that we're creating that are going to focus on specific topics, the governance of artificial intelligence, how do we focus on happiness and well-being, youth and their inclusion, future skills, because everyone's talking about the future of employment, the evolution of work, the skills of the future. So we are using this platform to send these messages and to bring the experts from around the world to answer these questions for governments.